so thank you very much to the organizers. I think it's a very, very good idea to have uh, this type of, of uh, uh, talks on the web. Uh, before starting, I would, would like to share some uh, a, a few thoughts uh, about uh, this uh, the current situation because uh, I think uh, when I feel uh, like everyone else uh, terribly helpless in face of the disaster we are witnessing, and uh, also professionally, the the I I suffer the physical absence of the students. Uh, and uh, I feel really the futility of my position in the in the society. Uh, I think we should take this uh, opportunity to rethink what uh, scientific knowledge is uh, and what is its role in the society and in taking decision. So we could could uh, uh, use uh, this uh, the time we have uh, this extra time the, the time of captivity to try to go in depth and uh, uh, um, think of uh, uh, what are the limits uh, we have the limits we should have uh, and uh, uh, the limits uh, the, the scientific research sh should have also in application. Uh, we are indeed one world uh, and we should uh, try to uh, uh, share this opportunity and to be united in redesigning our role in the society. Okay, these are just maybe um, depressing thoughts, but uh, now I will uh, start my, my, my uh, talk uh, and uh, 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 I will share with you some uh, results about uh, Liouville type theorems and local behavior of solutions to degenerate a singular problem. Okay. And uh, okay, uh, what I'm going to talk about today are in a, a, a series of uh, results contained in a series of papers in collaboration with the Nixire, Giorgio Torto, and Stefano Vita. They are all available on archive. And uh, the, these uh, results are concerned with the generate and singular operators, which are uh, somehow uh, in, the, in the focus of uh, the uh, attention in, in, of the PDE community in, in, since the last decade. And uh, in uh, general, oh, why is uh, my screen? Uh, okay. So, uh, sorry. Okay, so um, we are in, uh, in Rn plus one with the coordinates x in Rn and y in R, and uh, we consider operators which have uh, the form, which are di divergence, of uh, um, uh, uh, the modulus of y to some power a, and then we have some some uh, uh, matrix a gradient of u, and we take the divergence of everything. So we have uh, an operator in divergence form uh, uh, where there is some sorry uh, some uh, uh, ellipticity, but uh, the ellipticity is not uniform and uh, degenerates or becomes uh, uh, eigenvalues of uh, the matrix Y to the A, uh, capital A may become uh, uh, zero or infinity or explode at uh, uh, some uh, uh, hyperplane, uh, co-dimension one hyperplane in our N plus one, which is a characteristic manifold and we sh should uh, uh, think that this, uh, th th there is some compatibility between the ma matrix A and the uh, uh, hyperplane sigma, uh, which I uh, will describe in, in what follow follows. Okay, 
Okay, now uh, let's go back uh, to a very, very classical result uh, in uh, the theory of elliptic operators and uh, assume that no degeneracy nor singularity uh, appear. So we have uh, a, a symmetric matrix with measurable coefficients uh, which satisfy the uniform elliptic con ellipticity condition. Again, values are uh, um, bounded below and above by two positive numbers. And uh, when we take a positive uh, solution, so an element of the kernel of the operator, then uh, this uh, solution is uh, uh, elder continuous uh, with the uh, exponent which depends on the parameters of the problem uh, in the in uh, the way I I I write uh, in I, I reported in in this. Uh, in this uh, uh, slide, when uh, uh, A, the mat matrix A is also continuous, uh, then uh, the, the, uh, the exponent alpha in the um, uh, um, elder uh, norm can be uh, taken arbitrarily in between zero and one. And this theorem uh, uh, also has a version we, for uh, inhomogeneous problems. Uh, which is uh, the following. Now we add a uh, right hand side of the form uh, plus divergence of a vector B field capital S. And then uh, the same as the continuity uh, holds, uh, uh, property holds, uh, provided uh, the S and uh, uh, the, uh, the the vector field capital S uh, have uh, uh, are integrable with a sufficiently high of, uh, power, and this uh, uh, power uh, depends on the dimension. The threshold depends on the on the dimension. And uh, again, uh, when uh, the con when the ma matrix A is continuous, uh, then uh, the uh, parameters, so the constant C and the exponent alpha, uh, just depend on uh, R, P1, and P2, the exponent of the integrability of the right hand side, uh, and not on the uh, um, ellipticity parameter lambda 1 and lambda 2. Okay, and uh, if we uh, wish to go further and uh, derive. Uh, um, C1 alpha estimate, so estimate uh, of, of uh, the uh, continuity of the gradient of U, then uh, we have, should uh, impose to the coefficients of the matrix A to be uh, continuous and uh, to the right hand side to be a little bit, bit more regular than uh, in the previous uh, slide. Uh, so the function f must be uh, again, uh, but must hold a, a higher degree of integrability and the uh, vector field f should have uh, the same elder continuity uh, that we are uh, seeing for the derivatives of u. Okay, these are very, very classical results. Uh, you can go to, for example, the, the book by Gilbert and Prudinger, chapter eight, and you will find uh, them. Uh, and uh, uh, but if, if we look at our problem, uh, then uh, we see that, of course, these results cannot be applied directly because uh, uh, the uniform ellipticity condition is violated. And uh, this is not only a technical problem because, in fact, the solutions uh, may lack regularity. A very simple example is uh, if you take a function depending on y, y only, um, and you take the matrix A to be the identity, then uh, uh, this is a solution of the equation. And of course, it's not uh, smooth, uh, at, at least uh, in, in some ranges of, of uh, the power e, a, a, a. Okay, so uh, uh, 
we, we could try to, to frame this problem in, uh, in general, the, uh, the, uh, the, the general theory of uh, operators uh, with weights and uh, try to apply uh, what is uh, known uh, for, this, uh, for uh, this, is, uh, this type of problems, depending on uh, what uh, are uh, on the, the, the features of the weight uh, W. Okay, and uh, uh, in this, uh, uh, in, in, to the same, there, there, is a, there is a notion that I would like to recall, uh, which is uh, the AP weight class, AP, uh, that is, uh, is the, the following definition, which should be locally integrable. And uh, we average on a ball, and then we also average uh, some power of the reciprocal of the of the of this uh, uh, the, the weight uh, in a way. Uh, okay, I'm a bit embarrassed. Okay, so I'm here, and uh, uh, so we take some some uh, uh, some uh, uh, power. P and we take the reciprocal of W to the power of one over P minus one, and then we take this average over all possible, the product of the two averages uh, in uh, all possible um, balls, and we in the, this, uh, the supremum of all these quantities should be finite. Okay, uh, this is uh, 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 well-known notion, and uh, there is uh, uh, this is called uh, the Mukenaut class, and the Mukenaut class AP, in fact, contains uh, contains uh, the weight uh, y to the a uh, for uh, for uh, uh, definite values of of the of the exponent a in relation with p, and this is uh, absolutely elementary. Uh, in particular, there is a particular class which is uh, uh, which plays a very important role in this theory, which is the Mukenhaus class uh, A2, and uh, in fact, this weight uh, belongs to A2, to the A2 class uh, when A ranges from minus one and one. Uh, in our case, this will not be in general our case. Uh, Okay. Oh, oh, sorry. Now I have to go to the next. Okay. Ah, sorry. I have to uh, uh, to clear. Okay, to clear my draft. Okay. Why uh, are we interested on 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 this uh, on this uh, type of operators? Well, they they are they are uh, uh, related to fractional powers of elliptic operators, uh, at least for uh, particular ranges of the, of the uh, exponent a, uh, and also uh, they arise in uh, different applications. In general, when we have some barrier that opposes or uh, helps uh, the the diffusion, and uh, um, our point of view in uh, this uh, in uh, the, the in studying these uh, operators may be a, a little bit different than, than usual uh, we are um, interested uh, in uh, uh, the interplay and, and uh, the relation of the, the link of the boundary condition of Neumann and Dirichlet type uh, with respect, uh, with regard of the regularity, uh, regularity and qualitative behavior of solution, when there is this uh, degeneration or uh, singularity, and uh, uh, we also have uh, uh, the, uh, try to adopt the, the following uh, point of view. Well, we have uh, uh, weights which degenerate or become singular, but we can. Uh, perturb them or regularize them in a way that uh, this uh, uh, singularity or uh, degeneration disappear with a parameter. And then we would like to find, uh, to, to uh, uh, have estimates which are uh, uniform with respect to the regularization parameters. Okay, 
And uh, in this, our point of view, so it's a bit different from the one which was uh, developed uh, in seminal papers by uh, different collaborating teams. Uh, the names uh, are Fabe, Koenig, Jerison, and Serapioni, and uh, which uh, provides other continuity of all solutions, uh, regardless of the boundary condition S sigma. Okay, so uh, uh, let, 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 let me uh, stress uh, that uh, in general, uh, we will start uh, studying even solution. Even solution are solutions uh, which uh, uh, continue to be solution after a reflection, uh, an even reflection about uh, the characteristic hyperplane. Uh, uh, so we are in the first part of the talk, uh, we will focus on this type of solutions uh, and we will try to gain regularity and to study regularity in this class. For all values uh, of uh, uh, the, para the, the exponent a between minus one and plus, and plus infinity. Okay, so this uh, uh, exceeds uh, the Mukenaut class uh, where all solutions are uh, elder continuous. And in fact, uh, this, this is a very basic uh, and, uh, e example that uh, tells you that uh, when you uh, exit uh, the A2 class, uh, solutions may very well cease to be elder continuous, cease to be continuous at all. And uh, uh, well, of course, we have to, 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 to uh, uh, be careful in, in, uh, in defining what a solution. A solution is, is the, the, the notion of solution here is, is the, the notion of, uh, of energy solution. Okay, and when uh, the exponent a is larger than one or equal to one, then the jump function plus one in the positive part of v1 and minus one in the negative part of v1 is an energy uh, solution, LA harmonic solution. In this case, uh, the, the, the matrix is just the identity. Okay, and of course, uh, uh, this means that, uh, oh, we can uh, also uh, 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 replace uh, the values plus one and minus one with any possible value uh, and uh, have in any case uh, energy LA harmonic function. So we see that uh, uh, not only uh, the continuity is lacking, but uh, uh, also there is no unique continuation the nature of these operators, in fact, uh, may change drastically when uh, the, the um, exponent R becomes larger and larger. In the case becomes uh, large negative, uh, we will also have uh, a number of um, um, uh, this, uh, strange, uh, weird uh, uh, behaviors. Okay, so uh, let's do a very, very simple uh, uh, operation. We take the uh, the uh, uh, weights uh, y to the power a, and we see them in the limit of a family of regularized uh, uh, weights uh, with uh, the, the help of, of, of a, a parameter uh, epsilon, and we consider the associated uh, uh, operators. Okay, and uh, uh, we try to to to, see, so to so to to uh, embed our singular or degenerate uh, operators uh, in, inside a wider family of uh, uniformly elliptic operator, but without uh, 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 uniform bounds in the uh, uh, um, um, ellipticity parameters. Okay. And then uh, we uh, shall try to, to, to adapt a, a, adopt a, a perturbative uh, a point of view. Uh, in general, we can do this for uh, a, a wide class of, of, of operators so having a variable coefficients and try to derive uh, bounds in C0 alpha and C1 alpha for the solutions which are uniform with respect to the parameter epsilon and epsilon 
uh, 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 be either strictly positive or zero. And uh, uh, when uh, in the case we succeed in having this uh, uh, uniform estimate, so we will uh, talk uh, about uh, uh, an epsilon stable property. Okay. Well, uh, the, the, uh, uh, this uh, family of uh, regularized weight uh, have different uh, uh, behaviors uh, depending whether A is positive or negative. In particular, the monotonicity property with respect to epsilon, of course, are opposed. Uh, what uh, we have, uh, the, the, the common property we have is that in the limit, uh, in the almost everywhere, in the point-wise limit, uh, of course, they will converge to uh, y to the to the a, and uh, uh, so the 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 different the difference in the monotonicity uh, affects uh, the the fact that uh, the uh, energy space uh, may be well ordered, ordered or badly ordered with respect to epsilon, depending whether a is positive or or negative. So sometimes we have a common space where we can place all energy solutions, sometimes we will not have, and this sometimes may be a bit embarrassing. Um, uh, yeah, because uh, uh, I don't want to write a Neumann condition, uh, sorry, this is why I'm always talking of uh, even solution solutions uh, and everything will be reflected uh, on the other side of the hyperplane uh, sigma. Oh, in the case of variable coefficient, uh, this imposes a, a, a symmetry condition on uh, uh, the matrix A. I will uh, uh, elaborate maybe a little bit more in, in, the, in the sequel. At this, at this point, we can all Think that the matrix A is just the identity and nothing will change. Okay, and well, there are uh, there is a, a kind of duality between uh, the positive and negative exponent case cases, which is uh, um, which is uh, shared also by all the regularized uh, the, the, the the regularizing family. When we have a solution having uh, uh, some weight uh, rho epsilon a and uh, we take uh, the uh, kind of conormal derivative uh, v uh, then it solves uh, the it, it solves a, a, a related equation uh, with the, the operator with exponent minus a so the exponent a and the exponent minus a are enjoy a sort of duality, which is very well known. Okay, and then to proceed, uh, uh, I have to, to, to recall uh, the one, uh, one very uh, uh, basic tool of regularity theory uh, in, in the elliptic case, uh, which is uh, uh, relies on uh, Sobolev embeddings. And in this case, uh, uh, embeddings of Sobolev spaces uh, 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 sub uh, weighted Sobolev spaces. Okay, in general, we have to uh, uh, consider uh, to change our notion of measure, and our notion of measure uh, is uh, will be related uh, with uh, with uh, the, the, the 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 weight, of course. So we have we will uh, have this we we'll keep this measure, and uh, we will. Um, um, uh, use, uh, uh, we will need uh, a number of uh, very well known uh, uh, results by, by Hiwash, uh, which uh, um, frame uh, the theory of, Sobole of weighted Sobolev space uh, in a uh, very general uh, frame where the uh, basic notion is uh, the notion of uh, dimension, of effective dimension, which is related with uh, the homogeneity uh, um, features of uh, the measure. Uh, the me measure is said, uh, 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 a domain is said to be deregular with respect to a measure if uh, uh, for every 
uh, ball in the in in this uh, uh, in this uh, set, uh, the measure of the ball uh, is uh, uh, um, above a constant times the radius of the ball to the power d. So this is uh, in fact uh, um, something. Uh, which is related, partly related with the, with the domain, with the prob what, what the domain is, and partly with the, the, the so the, it relates the metric and uh, measures, measure uh, properties uh, of the space, of the space. Okay, in our case, in fact, uh, if we take the weighted measure and we take the, 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 the Euclidean structure in, in, in a RN, then we see that uh, the, um, the dimension is uh, uh, n plus one, which is uh, the dimension as a vector space, plus uh, the uh, positive part of A. Okay. okay. So we have uh, uh, embeddings in, uh, of uh, the energy space into L LP space for every P uh, uh, smaller than the critical. And this, uh, uh, this, uh, this property makes uh, the notion of energy solution consistent with right-hand sides, uh, which have an integrability uh, uh, property larger than the dual of uh, the um, the, the, the exponent, uh, an energy solution is uh, in this case uh, uh, very simple, uh, a function in the energy space, uh, which uh, uh, when tested with what, whatever other function in the, very sa in the same uh, energy space, uh, sorry, the here there should be a, a zero. Uh, a zero. So here, okay, and uh, uh, satisfy the, the, the equation in uh, uh, the uh, weak sense. Okay, this is just, uh, uh, okay, uh, this can be also done when the right hand side is in a, in a divergence form. And uh, this is a very, very, uh, um, let's say classical, solu uh, classical, um, uh, notion. So, what can we can prove in this case is are uh, exactly uh, the same Moser or um, uh, the Georgi Moser uh, estimates and the Schauder estimates uh, for the uh, uh, equation minus L A U equal Y to the A F. Uh, uh, in the ball, and we just change the uh, dimension, and we, we take uh, as dimension the uh, effective one. Okay, and this uh, let me stress uh, this result uh, is uh, true for even solution. Okay, so for even solution, solutions which are in uh, even in y, uh, absolutely it is false for for general solution, okay? So, and these uh, properties, uh, this is also an important uh, remark, uh, are epsilon stable. So the constant C uh, does not depend uh, on epsilon, depends only on uh, the parameters uh, of, of the problem, okay? And, oh, sorry. So uh, how will we prove these uh, these theorems? Uh, we will prove them uh, with uh, by proving Jubin type theorems, uh, which maybe can be interesting themselves, uh, and that uh, uh, will give uh, uniform estimates in in epsilon in the elder space C zero alpha and C one alpha for solutions which are even in Y. And uh, this Lubin's uh, uh, theorem uh, rely heavily on spectral properties of a family of, uh, of operators, uh, which are very naturally uh, um, 
related to this problem. And what is also important is that we can prove that all solutions to the singular degenerate equations are obtained as limit of solutions to uh, of these regularized uh, uh, problems. So then we, we can also uh, go and uh, find uh, um, higher regularity for for this problem. Okay, uh, so the higher regularity are higher order um, uh, Schauder estimate. Let's take the exponent a between uh, minus, uh, minus one and infinity. And uh, uh, okay, so we are in this range and we take an even energy solution to this uh, equation. Okay, uh, when with the f, the, the, the function f, which is uh, uh, in some space uh, uh, of a regular function, ck alpha of b1, then the solution is ck plus 2 alpha of b1, and uh, uh, if s is infinity, then also u is uh, infinity. Um, this uh, somehow it is uh, to some extent surprising because uh, uh, this is not related. This uh, this result is not related uh, with with the, the uh, regularity of the coefficients of uh, the 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 uh, matrix the the the, the full matrix, uh, and it is uh, in fact restricted to even solution. Uh, other solutions are not this infinity, they may even not be other continuous. Uh, uh, in this case, we cannot prove, uh, uh, we cannot prove epsilon stability of this, uh, this uh, result, but we can uh, uh, prove ex uh, um, uh, epsilon stability he, uh, in a range, in a, in a, in a, in a uh, at, at a distance from the characteristic hyperplane, which is of order square root of epsilon. So this will give uh, uh, the, the the results uh, uh, also without epsilon stability. Uh, the the idea for uh, okay, what is what is uh, maybe should be stressed is that uh, uh, the the property hold in all variables x and y. Okay, in x it's kind of obvious, uh, while it's not in y. And uh, the reason why one can get the regularity with respect also to y is that uh, uh, one can iterate a certain formula which uh, sees uh, the second y derivative as uh, the difference between two operators. And uh, apply uh, uh, the, this, uh, the, the, the previous C1 alpha estimate to such operators, uh, or C0 estimates, depending on what, what maybe C1 alpha is, is better. And one, uh, the, the blue part is uh, uh, solves an equation in the same class with the same, expo with the same exponent uh, alpha. While the other uh, 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 another equation in the very in the same class but with a higher exponent. This is why we need uh, the regularity at for all a in a half uh, half uh, uh, in 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 a, in a, in a, in a um, uh, from from minus one to plus infinity. Okay, so uh, what are the Liouville theorem? I was uh, I was uh, uh, um, talking before. I, uh, well, uh, one is the these are Liouville theorems that says that uh, there are no uh, entire solutions uh, of for the class of uh, of weights uh, rho i epsilon. Uh, which grow too slowly at infinity. 
the first one, which is uh, uh, the, the, what I call the motherly theorem, says that if you have a, a solution, a, a, let's say a node solution, so a solution with Dirichlet boundary condition, uh, so the, the, in the half space which grows at infinity, uh, in a, in a slower way with respect to the uh, modulus of the, the of z to the gamma multiplied by the reciprocal of the weight then uh, this uh, function must be identically zero and from this uh, one can derive uh, the uh, uh, baby uv theorem that uh, will uh, provide the c0 alpha estimates that says that if you take uh, 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 an entire solution then of, of the, the, the Neumann problem in the half space which grows at infinity less than linear, then this must be constant. And uh, uh, as a, a second corollary, the one which gives uh, the, uh, uh, the C1 alpha property for the um, the uh, uh, for, for for the solutions uh, is that uh, uh, if you take a, a solution an entire solution on the half plane with Neumann boundary condition which with whose gradient grows more than in more than uh, linearly then uh, w is a linear function okay these are the elements of the proof and now I will turn briefly in uh, the last five minutes. Uh, what happens now? I, I, I focus just on uh, even solution, and then let me go to to odd solutions. Of course, every solution is the sum between an even and an odd uh, solution function. And what can we? What kind of result uh, can we uh, expect for uh, uh, odd? Uh, uh, odd solution. Okay, there is a first remark, elementary remark, is uh, the following. Uh, let me take a odd solution to the equation with the right hand side. And uh, let me consider the relation between uh, u and uh, y, modulus of y to the minus a times y. This is what in fact uh, this uh, bad guy responsible of the lack of, of regularity for the uh, odd function. This is in fact a solution is in the kernel of the operator. And uh, if we uh, take uh, the ratio between u and this uh, 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 comparison odd solution, we find that something that uh, solves uh, a related equation and uh, with the, the exponent a which is changed into 2 minus a and it is even okay this is a, a very basic and uh, not a, a very original remark but uh, let's keep it in in mind uh, and uh, uh, okay uh, and already keeping it, it, it in mind, we can uh, uh, classify and uh, let's say and, uh, 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 all solutions uh, of the equation of the with the right hand side that we will write in the form uh, modulus of y, y to the a and s. Now a be to minus one and one. And then we write uh, the right hand side in its even and odd part, and the odd part will be weighted again by the, uh, uh, this uh, fundamental uh, comparison solution. And uh, so what happens if we assume that uh, the even part of S and the even part of, uh, and the ratio between the odd part and the, and the, uh, uh, mm, uh, fundamental odd solution are both CK alpha, then U will be the sum between an even part and uh, uh, an even, uh, another even part uh, uh, with a factor uh, Y to the modulus of Y to the minus alpha and both U 
and tilde u are in the k plus of all variables, okay, variables x and y. Okay, this is, a, let's say, kind of a, a observation which is not completely trivial to be done. Now, uh, so let's elaborate a little bit more on this problem. What are the right solu comparison solution for the regularized problem? And what are the uh, right comparison solution for the limit and regularized problem in the variable coefficient case? Okay, when the, the matrix A is the identity, then the natural choice for the uh, comparison, odd comparison uh, uh, solutions are just uh, the integrals uh, of the reciprocal of the weights uh, from 0 to y. And uh, uh, these are, in fact, the uh, uh, solutions of the regularized equation. And in the case, this case, uh, the ratio between u and uh, this uh, uh, fundamental odd solution it will so solve an inhomogeneous problem where the, the, the weight has changed a bit and uh, uh, the s has been divided by q uh, a epsilon. Okay, well, the, the new weights uh, are in fact somehow more always uh, the kind of always rather degenerate uh, because uh, they annihilate uh, as power 2 of y when epsilon is positive and power 2 minus a when epsilon is zero and 2 and 2 minus a are always larger than, than 1. Okay, so uh, these are super degenerate and are a bit different than before, but uh, uh, they are uh, good enough to uh, uh, be uh, able to find uniform in epsilon bounds for the ratio u over k a to epsilon. Okay, now let me uh, try to extend further this consideration and we go to the uh, case of uh, uh, variable coefficients uh, uh, matrix A. And uh, we write, because it's important to keep uh, an eye on the, on, the, on the common geometry of the uh, uh, space, of the, of the uh, characteristic uh, uh, manifold sigma and uh, the matrix A. Uh, the mat matrix A is uh, so, some, some function of X and Y times some matrix B. This matrix uh, has, uh, uh, is uh, factorized uh, in, in, uh, in, uh, in a certain way. And especially uh, when we reverse y into minus one, uh, we must find a certain uh, equivalency of uh, the ma matrix A that I've written here. In particular, we see that the vectors T, uh, which are which are on the on the last uh, uh, row and common, uh, the, they must annihilate all on the characteristic hyperplane if, if continuous, and uh, so the uh, vector e n plus one is always an eigenvector of the ma matrix uh, B uh, at the characteristic hyperplane, and uh, the eigenvalue is one. Okay. And uh, uh, now uh, uh, one has to, to understand what is uh, the, the, the right, uh, uh, the, the, the correct comparison, uh, comparison odd solution to be. This involved, in fact, uh, the factor mu, which is uh, an, uh, fundamentally, basically, the uh, value of is related with uh, the value of e n plus one of the eigen uh, as an eigenvector of the mass matrix A, and is related with the um, with the uh, um, mu is related uh, uh, of course uh, with uh, with uh, the um, element uh, volume elements uh, of uh, the, the matrix A. Okay, if we take this uh, as fundamental comparison solution, then we find uh, that uh, the ratio u epsilon over v epsilon uh, 
satisfy an auxiliary fun uh, uh, equation where we see appearing uh, not only the right hand side as before, but also an, a drift, a drift uh, part uh, which is related, in, very strongly related with the curvature. And uh, uh, in, in fact, it, it involves uh, the derivatives of, of mu. And uh, uh, well, so this is to say that in fact, this is not exactly a Harnack boundary uh, type theorem, it's a more a shouted type uh, of regularity. Okay, as an application, in fact, uh, we can deal with the case uh, of uh, the Laplacian expressed uh, in Fermi coordinates uh, uh, and uh, study the regularity of solutions of uh, n dimensional of, of operators which are singular not uh, at a hyperplane but uh, an uh, n dimensional hypersurface embedded in r n plus one okay so this was uh, the end uh, I will not state the theorem is a bit complicated. What I just want to stress is that it requires uh, the, this uh, surface to be of class C3 alpha. And then it, uh, it's, uh, it's good, uh, it gives uh, uh, regularity of the ratio between uh, U, the solution U, and uh, the characteristic, the, the comparison of solution V epsilon. That's the end of my talk. Thank you very much for your attention.